Ladies and gents, welcome for another video. And in today's video, I'm going to show to you guys the five most common used softwares as a high ticket closer. And these are the things that you need to be familiarized with and certain things that I also use to make my life a little bit easier as a closer. So let's go to my computer. I'm going to show you guys this. It's going to be a quick video. Um, I've been noticing is a lot of you guys are asking me like what software do you guys use? You know, what exactly do you use as a closer? I'm confused. What do I need to do right so first things first, this is Calendly. So this is the things where you can actually book in a call, right? This is where you can actually keep in touch. It's integrated to your calendar, your Google Calendar. And this is where you get book calls and actually know where you're, you know, whatever you're closing for, whoever you're closing for, whatever offer you're closing for. 99% of the time, 99.99% .99 of the time, they're going to be using Calendly. Sometimes there's some weird offers that they use some go high level stuff, but 99.99% .99 of the time, they will ask you to have a Calendly or something like that, right? And then typically this is where you can see what, is, what are your book calls, the inbound is coming, how many calls you're going to get per day, right? So that's the very first software you should start expecting to see more often and start familiarizing yourself with is calendly that's the does if you hear about people oh let me send you my calendar with you to you right that's when you know they they've been closing or they've been in the space for quite some time you know or if they know that and second one uh is stripe so this one right here is the payment processor so it pretty much there's a lot of payment processors out there but 90 percent of the time or 80 percent of the time the people that you're going to be working with is they're using stripe so it's practically just a payment processor where you can just see where the money is coming in. It is where you charge invoices and invoices to your your prospects, the sales calls people right that you're working with, you know, and just capture payments pretty much. So this is where you get it. You know, they have a lot of good stuff. Um, it's very clean surface. Um, you know, the products there, the sending the invoice is simple, straight to the cut. There's really not much to do here. It's just, this is one of the main things that you need to start looking into. Oh, this is a good thing too. I literally forgot this, but Slack is another good one as well. Slack is one of those things that we use as well. But next on top of that is a CRM. So there's so many CRM out there, but this is one of the most commonly used one. It's called close IO and practically it's just a uh, a company for you know sales team you know if you have leads to capture your leads to understand whatever do you need to nurture them or anything like that the, the, this is practically what the close IO does is just keeps everything in track organized that's the main essence of CRMs right that's the that's the third one and then the fourth one is zoom so this is where you take in the calls, right? This is where you're actually taking the call. Some weird people use Google Meets, but if you don't want to be weird, go just use Zoom. Like this, Zoom is the most cleanest surface wise, right? You can auto record, make sure you auto record your, your videos, your sales calls, so you can actually review them. So let's say you've messed up, there's things that you want to review back, just use Zoom. It'll save you a lot of time compared to like using Google Meets or some weird ass Sulfurs or anything like that. Just make sure you're recording your calls. So that's the most important thing. So you have the feature here. You can auto record it. That's why I love Zoom. Pretty straight and forward, right? Um, on this software is I'm probably I'm pretty sure you know 90% of you guys that's watching this has been in high school and you guys probably used Zoom before, especially if you were in that whole entire cuff cuff thing, right? So that's the fourth one, and then the fifth one is Notion. So technically, not a lot of people, you know, a lot of closers do not require to use Notion, but it's one of the most important thing that I would say as a closer is having some sort of software to use to take notes while you're in a sales call, right? So this will really just help you make sure you know where exactly you're going. You know, you can separate, this is the pain point, this is the current situation of this person, this is the goal, this is the desire of this person. So you can separate it and you can actually take notes while you're just in sales call. You're looking in the camera, not looking like back and forth. Oh, oh what did he say? So it's kind of like that, right? So you have that, you know, you can just kind of drag it in the left side of your camera. I mean, your, your monitor, and then you can just have that there. 
opened and then just for things right to make sure everything is organized and making sure you're tracking numbers and metrics fourth one and then i forgot about this but uh next one is slack this is one right here uh it's another communication app a lot of people you're gonna start hearing this more slack communication is the most commonly used ones as well for in terms of team team communications 99 percent of people use slack personally for me i just use imessage and discord but you know it's just a little bit fancier slack i don't really see any difference between this and having just a discord but i'm pretty sure it's a little a, li a little bit more smoother you know it's much more easier to use but you know in terms of that it's just pretty straightforward um those are the five main softwares you, you need to start familiarizing yourself as a closer or if you're trying to get into closing is these are the most commonly used softwares you're gonna start seeing but yeah i mean there's not really much here to say but i just wanted to share with you guys what are the most common softwares that people use and it just happened to be that there's five commonly used softwares in the how to get closing space uh appointment setting space that they use right so i hope you guys found something valuable in this video if you guys want to check this um softwares out this website's out i've linked them in the bottom description below but yeah that's it for today's video i just wanted to share that quick video and what exactly you should expect right becoming a closer some things that you need to familiarize yourself with uh until like let's say you have don't have a call yet right so again guys i appreciate you guys being watching your video this video you guys time are valuable as always be a creator not a consumer create sub today that will inspire you and others peace